Hello, my name is Adam Adraveno, and I'd like to introduce to you this work by Sandy Skogland entitled The Cold War. Sandy Skogland, the artist, was born in Massachusetts in 1946. As a child, her parents were constantly moving around until they finally settled in Southern California. She's quoted as saying that there's probably kind of a California sensibility in my work in terms of color. California was a positive influence on the young artist to be. For college, she went back to Massachusetts to study studio art and art history at Smith College and then went on to get a master's degree in filmmaking, printmaking, and multimedia art, as well as a master's in fine art and painting. While she originally wanted to be a cartoonist or fashion designer, through her education she came to appreciate the power of theatrical images. In 1972, she moved to New York where she worked as a conceptual artist. She actually taught herself photography and used it to supplement and form her style of elaborate installation pieces. Much of her work explores subconscious fear and existentialism. Her work is very surreal and pushes the bounds of reality in very unique ways. What we would use Photoshop for today, Skogeland was creating by hand years before digital editing was viable. She is best known for her 1990 work, Radioactive Cats, where green painted cats surround an elderly couple in a kitchen. Many of her installations take months or even years to plan, only for them to be destroyed after the photograph is taken. Skogeland always carries a notebook with her, looking for the perfect subject. She writes down all her thoughts and observations, waiting for the moment when they all come together to be part of her next art piece. Her goal is to suggest things and create many possible interpretations. In her work, The Cold War, the title, subject matter, and colors all seem to point towards one interpretation. This art piece, The Cold War, is a large format and comes in 16 by 20 inch prints. This work deals with issues related to the Cold War, specifically the anxiety and worries over nuclear destruction. There is a certain crystallographic balance to the piece with emphasis on the human figure to the ray. The man lays on his belly, covered in yellow, with a yellow dog next to him. The retro style phone and table combined with the presence of a dog seem to link this man to the 1950s and the period associated with the Cold War and the nuclear family. Skogelin wanted to evoke a quote, damp feeling, that seeped into every facet of life with this work. The presentation of this piece, in accordance with the official advice of the time to duck and cover, clearly conflict, and the way the table is placed over the man as he huddles under a blanket is meant to evoke a feeling that the advice given by our governments is not advice to keep us alive, but advice only to give us comfort. The red figures and missiles inexorably link to the Soviet Union as the red threat. The combination with yellow is stark and unnerving. It's as if Skogland is saying, the basis and foundation of the war is yellow, like a coward. There is a strange sense of imbalance created by the contrast of the man hiding, threatened by paper cutouts. It's clear to the viewer that he could at any moment get up to destroy the phantom threat, but instead he is huddled in fear of what could be his own creations. When asked about a process, Skoglund responded, My work is based on a Frankenstein model, where the human beings have created the world that is out of control and turns on them. This idea perfectly encapsulates this photo, which brings to mind the dread of nuclear annihilation the world brought upon itself. On further examination, this piece seems to suggest that not only can a war be built on a surface of cowardly intentions, but also that for those who do not want to participate in the war, and for those who do not join the war effort, there is a barrage of missiles, a barrage of people, all condemning them, all pointing their weapons at them, to shame them for not wanting to step up to support their country. Sandy Skoglund's The Cold War is a biting photograph that highlights the hubris of people who would bring so close to fruition the end of all life on Earth.